Hey, do you remember all the stuff that came out with Sandy Hook and Adam Lanza? How there was so many different stories in the media about what what caused his violent nature to take place. You know, first it was you know his mother was a teacher at the school. Um, he was mad at her because she loved the children more than she loved him. Turned out to all to be a lie, right? Um, he has autism, man, or Asperger's anyway, right? And it set him off that he happened to be a fanatic of school shootings. Just all kinds of different things that the media was pushing out there that was behind his violent nature. One of the other aspects of that was is his violent video game playing. That's right. Well, they're doing the exact same thing here with the Virginia shooting where they say that, oh, it was racist comments that set him off. Oh, no, it was in the manifesto that states that, A, the Charleston shooting set him off. But what made him conduct his video footage of the shooting the way he did while the camera was there and he was using his own camera? Well, according to this anonymous gamer who it turns out to be is nothing more than part of the PSYOP and I'm going to show you all of that here in this video that I uploaded on Vimeo. I uploaded here because it's using material from an interview that has been scrubbed from the internet. If I put it up on YouTube I know they are going to attack it and take it down. I could lose my channel so I'm going to put it up on Vimeo. You guys can check that out. Look at all the screenshots that this anonymous person provided. Take a look at all of my roamings through that Gamergate and Steam uh, 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 Steam gaming site. Check out everything that I show you right there, and you will see just how big of a PSYOP this really was. Okay. Finally, what I want to share with you before I go here is this. One of the interesting things that, uh, you know, if you have, watch this. We have 50 states in the United States, and out of those 50 states, there's probably a couple hundred thousand TV stations all around the United States, right? Uh, you know, in San Diego, you got about like seven or eight uh, uh, TV stations. L.A., you got about 12, 15, uh, whatever, however many you have, right? So maybe there's a couple uh, 10,000, 20,000 all around the United States. So doesn't it seem strange that in March 23rd, 2015, that the Federal Communications Commission comes out with a fine levy against one TV station in the United States, and it just so happens to be the largest fine ever levied against any television station. WDBJ in Roanoke, Virginia. Forfeiture fine of $325,000. How is it just so happens that the one incident that is we believe is a hoax just so happens to be surrounded with controversy with this incident right here, the largest fine, right? I'm going to leave you links for this right here, but I want to show you some of the things here, what makes it the largest fine. WDBJ reported on it back here. The FCC says the fine would be the largest ever levied against a station for a single incident. Okay, this incident took place July 2012, the exact same month that Allison Parker allegedly came in as an intern at WDBJ while she was going to college and before she ended up taking the job in North Carolina with that media station there before she came back to WDBJ, right? Washington Times, very interesting what they had to state, and you will find it in the notice here, page 15, it's all the way down there, but it's in little letters, so I'd rather just do it here. The FCC proposed a maximum available forfeiture of $325,000. However, there is a way for the TV station to ask for reduction or cancellation of the fine, the agency noted in its 15-page notice. I wonder exactly what they would have to do to cancel that fine. Uh, maybe have uh, the participation in this whole event right here, and it just so happens that, you know, Allison Parker's there. Is that the reason why they were fined so much? To maybe levy 
their participation in all of this rather than just working with Allison Parker in a uh, individual capacity. Now the whole TV station has to be on board. And what better way to project their whole agenda but right there on camera, right? I don't know. It's a possibility. It's just a possibility. Nothing's concrete. And all I'm doing is showing you an anomaly here. And that's it. All right. Thanks, everybody. I'll leave you a link for the video on Vimeo so you can check that out.